this is Achilles, the main protagonist of our game. I need to get to Troy and rescue Helen. That is the only way to end this war quick. My name is Bartek, and today I will show you Achilles Legends Untold, developed by the Polish studio Dark Point Games. In this material, we will talk about the setting, mechanics, and some foes that you'll stumble upon while playing the game. The game is a blend of mechanics known from action RPG and Souls-like titles where you will immerse yourself in an epic story of the bravest Greek warrior but with an original twist. So prepare yourself for learning complex combat mechanics that in order to conquer enemies require a well-planned approach and let's begin. First, you will find yourself at the shores of Troy where you will follow a familiar quest after the abduction of Helen. But as the story unfolds, we take a sharp turn away from the pages of the Iliad. Let's admire our graphic designer's work with this panorama of the city. If I could attract the Trojans' attention, it would give my men time to find a passage inside. As we get closer to our first mini-boss, you will get to learn basic combat mechanics such as target lock, quick and strong attacks and blocks. Just before this first major encounter, you will learn about devastating attacks that can be blocked with your shield. Hector will use those so be ready to dodge a roll out. You must be a fool to come here alone. Is it death you seek Achilles? Or maybe you want to beg for mercy? This is the first fight that will test your skills. Hector will use a variety of attacks and will command archers to shoot from far away, so stay sharp. As you can see, positioning in battle opens new ways to fight worthy foes. Right now, we are mostly using stamina as a resource. That's the green bar that will regenerate on its own. Every attack, dodge and block will deplete stamina, so calculate your moves. Here, we could only end Hector's life, but later in the game, it will be for you to decide if you want to end or spare your opponent. You are right, Prince Hector. History is indeed written by the victors, but your death was not in vain. It will help end this hopeless war. Hopefully, this fight bought my men some time. I need to know what they managed to find in the city. Let's now skip a bit of gameplay, as Troy is just a tutorial version of the game. You don't level up, manage your skill points, and you can't change your gear. Shrines are scattered throughout the world and are anchor points in the game. Those are used for fast travel, but it's not their only application. Shrines also work as teleportation points. You can rest here to regenerate health and fury, but remember that this will also respawn any enemies that you previously defeated. Here you will respawn after death, and as the game gets harder later on, you will die a lot. If you're having trouble with a certain part of the game, try to think about different strategies and learn your opponent's weaknesses. The victory tastes sweeter when you need to work for it. Let's change it up a bit. The spear is one of many weapons that will be available to you during the game and your combat style is an extension of your character. 
swift spear maneuvers, stalwart shield defense, or relentless dual axe assaults. You your decisions that, shape not just battles, but the very essence of your hero. Armor. I remember skinning the last one of them years ago. <laughs> Seems I was wrong. One more traitor still breathing. <laughs> Seize him, boys, but don't damage his armor. Menelaus will shower us with gold for it. NPCs aren't just static characters. They are integral to the unfolding narrative. Engage with them and you might unveil side quests or gain insights that shape your journey. We learned that 10 years have passed and we are in fact awakened from the dead. During the game, you will need to figure out what has happened and what is your part in this new world. Come on, then. It's been a while since I've seen a shrine. And to guide our hero's growth, we've introduced a dynamic skill tree. Choose your path, unlocking divine abilities and enhancing your combat prowess. Equipment is a crucial thing in Achilles, Legends and Tome. From the variety of weapons to armor with different properties, potions, thrown items and weapon reinforcements, you will find this countless ways like to approach each stuff. encounter. Before the fight, we prepared ourselves by covering the blade with oil of poison and choosing petards as our thrown item. As you can see, using Fiery Fortress, a double-handed sword, opens up a more in-your-face style of battle. Let's use our skill to finish off the foe and venture into the last boss in today's video. Now, let's delve into a pivotal aspect that sets Achilles Legends Untold apart. The Souls-like Root Combat System Crafting this system was a journey, one that aimed to make combat an intense personal experience. Our combat evolved through countless iterations. We wanted every encounter to be a duel of wits between the player and their adversaries. Enemies have distinct attack patterns and behaviors. Success demands not just skill but a deep understanding of your foes. Thank you for watching. We hope that you're as excited as we are about the upcoming release and we'll see you in the game on the 2nd of November.